Okay, today what I want to do is I want to share with you a few pieces that I have in my studio. And there, there are several pieces that I've got right now that unfortunately I've run out of room and I'm going to show you this real quick. This is all a whole bunch of paintings all in here. I've run out of room on the walls and so I've had to store some. But I wanted to share with you some pieces and uh, in doing so you can kind of give it a critique if you'd like. Now all of these masks that I made are all out of recycled material. Paper mache, string, whatever I could find. This painting here in fact had a lot of recycled material on that. Um, and then uh, a lot of paint, a whole lot of paint. Now this piece over here is also paper mache, but there's a lot of things that I added to create this piece and took hours to build the face up. So, and there was some modeling compound, okay, used for the teeth. That's another piece up there that's uh, paper mache. Now this is an interesting piece that I did years ago. And if you'll notice the face, that's concrete. And then these right here are cow bones from a cow, uh, from uh, an old dairy that used to be uh, in operation in uh, DeSoto Parish. This is uh, plaster and this is all concrete and wood here. Now these pieces, laid out in the in the weather for years and then I used it and that's why it's got holes in it uh, from the rain because I, I didn't move them for, for years. This piece here is another which is recycled material and we go over here this is an oil painting acrylic this is another piece that I did that I used uh, plaster and acrylic paint. And this is another one that's got some cow horns and concrete. And this piece here I recently did and took forever for it to dry. And up here is a lot of uh, some of my, my uh, clay pieces and graffito. Um, and then when you move over here, this, these two pieces here go back, uh, quite, quite some time. They're all plaster and they're, they were made originally out of castings from some of my students. And then I attached those to some canvases and put just a whole, just several, several coats of sealer on it. Um, then this piece right here is, uh, about three foot by five foot, and originally it was black and white, and it was at a gallery, and then it got um, almost destroyed there, and I went and got the pieces and uh, put it in a building. I had several pieces there, put it in a building, and uh, then years later got it out and uh, added color to it. This piece here is also recycled material, that mask, and then got this piece that I did recently. And then this piece here. This is also paper mache. If you'll see all the amount of detail. So what I do is a variety of things. And of course I do my, my pen and inks, which right here, this is all full of my pen and inks. And eventually I will get them all together and, and do something with them. But I wanted to share with you some of these pieces so that you can see some of the things that I do and uh, that I work with. And uh, that's a, an acrylic piece. And so uh, when you're sitting there thinking about things to do, there is no set thing that you have to do. You can work with a variety of, of, of things. Okay, I do pen and ink and I sculpt with paper mache and also paint. So just have fun and uh, 
and look at some of your work and appreciate some of the things that you've created. Okay?